a sweetheart. This is a great study of, es un of a religious man that goes to a spiritual man. De un hombre religioso que va al mundo espiritual. Chapter 1 of Job. Capítulo 1 de Job. Make it chapter 2. Capítulo 2. In verse 3, the Lord said to Satan, Have you considered my servant Job that there is none like him on the earth, a blameless and upright man, one who fears God and shuns evil, and still he holds fast to his integrity, although you incited me against him to destroy him without a cause? Capítulo 2 y verso 3 dice, Jehová dijo a Satanás, No has considerado a mi siervo Job que no hay otro como él en la tierra, varón perfecto y recto, temeroso de Dios y apartado del mal, y que todavía retiene su integridad, aun cuando tú me insistes me incitaste contra él para que lo arruinara sin causa and in verse 4 this is insight into the mentality and consciousness of the devil y esto es dentro de la mentalidad y de Satanás so Satan answered the Lord and said skin for skin yes all that a man has he will give for his life respondiendo Satanás dijo a Jehová piel por piel todo lo que el hombre tiene dará por su vida That's what the devil believes. Eso es lo que el cree. So when you fast, Entonces, usted ayuna, you make the devil crazy. Usted hace, al lo loco. Because he can't believe somebody is willing to risk their life al, no for someone they can't see por que él no puede, ellos no ver, for a belief they can't believe in uh, naturally por una que no creer for the unseen realm por el mundo que no ven, when he can give you all you want here on earth. <laughs> so you make the devil crazy Entonces usted lo vuelve loco al diablo. and you make God happy y usted lo hace a Dios feliz. and he wants to reward you y él le va a recompensar. so there is a place in the heavenly realm Entonces hay un lugar en el mundo espiritual where you start to meet with God in the secret place and you're fasting comienza a encontrarse con Dios en el lugar secreto. he will take your spirit to these places where wickedness abounds we've actually done warfare in places that we've never been physically nosotros hemos hecho guerra espiritual en lugares donde no hemos estado nunca físicamente Because there's nothing impossible with Porque God. No hay nada imposible. And as the, as the substance from heaven begins to transform your spirit and soul, del cielo a transformar su alma y su espíritu, your consciousness begins to change. Su conciencia comienza a ser transformada. Your mind starts to take on the, the understanding of Christ. Su mente comienza a tomar la mente de Cristo. The thoughts that you have are not the same thoughts you're going to have. Los pensamientos que usted tenía no son los mismos pensamientos que usted va a tener. The thoughts you will have after substance of heaven invades you. Los pensamientos que usted tiene después de que la sustancia del cielo le invade. Take on the characteristic of heaven. Toman las características del cielo. Take on the desire to see someone else pleased. Toman los deseos de ver a alguien más satisfecho, contento. You're not number one for comfort anymore. Usted ya no es el número uno en sentirse cómodo. Your desires aren't first anymore. That's how you know heaven has invaded Entonces, your thoughts. You're willing to go that extra mile. Usted está dispuesto a avanzar esa milla extra. You're willing to do whatever the Lord tells you to do. Usted está dispuesto a hacer cualquier cosa que el Señor le llame a hacer. Because heaven has come to you. Porque el cielo ha llegado a usted. And you know the reward of your father. Y usted conoce la recompensa de su padre. You know the reward usted of your father. Usted sabe la recompensa de su padre. Back to Isaiah. Vamos de regreso a Isaías. To undo the heavy burdens in verse 6, 
to undo the heavy burdens, to let the oppressed go free, and that the yoke and that you break every yoke. Desatar las ligaduras de impiedad, soltar las cargas de opresión y dejar ir libres a los quebrantados y rompáis todo yugo. To share your bread with the hungry, to bring to your house the poor who are cast out. When you see the naked, you cover him and not hide yourself from your own flesh. No es que apartes tu pan, que partas tu pan con el hambriento y a los pobres errantes albergues en casa y que cuando veas al desnudo lo cubras y no te escondas de tu hermano. In verse 8. Then the light shall break forth like the morning, your healing shall spring forth speedily, and your righteousness shall go before you. The glory of the Lord shall be your rear guard. Entonces nacerá tu luz como el alba, y tu salvación se dejará ver pronto. Era tu justicia delante de ti, y la gloria de Jehová será tu retaguardia. You need to read that verse again. Verse 8. Entonces nacerá tu luz como el alba y tu salvación se dejará ver pronto e irá tu justicia delante de ti y la gloria de Jehová será tu retaguardia. Those of you who have been crying out for your healing, Aquellos que han estado clamando por él. It will speedily come. Eh, va, eso va a suceder. It will spring forth speedily. Va a traerlo, va a ser rápidamente. And the greatest thing y lo más grande your righteousness shall go before you es que su justicia irá delante suyo and the Lord will be behind you y el Señor será su retaguardia that means God is behind you and Jesus is going before you eso quiere decir que Dios está detrás suyo y Jesús está yendo delante suyo because it says seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness porque dice busca primero el reino de Dios y su justicia who is the righteousness quien es el justo The kingdom of God is his righteousness. El reino de Dios es su The kingdom of God is a person. El reino de Dios es una persona, and his name is Jesus. Y su nombre es Jesucristo. So Jesus goes before you. Así que va delante tuyo, God goes behind y you. Dios va como tu retaguardia. And what have you got to fear? Y entonces, ¿de qué temes? So if this isn't enough to be encouraged for fasting, I don't know what else is. Así que si esto no le anima para ayunar, entonces no sé qué es lo que le va a animar. All I had to do was read this chapter a few times and I was ready to fast the whole year. Todo lo que tuve que hacer era leer este capítulo algunas veces y estaba listo para ayunar por un año completo. But as you consecrate yourself, Pero mientras usted se consagre, and you call the sacred assembly, y usted llame a la asamblea, and you gather together with the armies of God, con el, el ejército de Dios, you encourage one another, usted se anima el uno al otro, you start to propel yourself into a new dimension. A llevarse a una nueva dimension. You start to set yourself up for something that you dreamed about for years in your Christian life. This is your season. This is your time. This is your time. This is what you were created for. Your prayers have not gone in vain. He knows what you're looking for. 